Welcome back to New Rockstars, I'm Eric Voss. And Black Widow is the next chapter of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, with Natasha Romanoff finally shedding some light on that oft-mentioned red on her ledger. Dear diary, I write you in blood because Thor has no pencil. One mystery about Nat's past centers around her parents. Inducted into the KGB Red Room as a girl, Natasha's mother and father were a mystery even to her. Until Avengers Endgame, when Red Skull dropped a whopper of an Easter egg. Natasha, daughter of Ivan. Natasha tells Clint she didn't even know her father's name. Maybe he's making this shit up. No. I don't think so. Because right, he knows your daddy's name? I didn't. Red Skull's divine insight allows him to know the name of their true parent figure. He greeted Thanos as Son of Alos. With Alars being the name of the Eternal on Titan who bore Thanos in the Marvel comics. Red Skull greeted Clint as Son of Edith. Maybe because in the comics, Clint's father was abusive and really it was his mother, Edith, who raised him. Or Clint's mom is the AI in Tony Stark's glasses. Now that's a total conspiracy. Many speculated that daughter of Ivan could refer to Ivan Venko, aka Whiplash, the Soviet born villain. Of Iron Man 2. It's been a theory that's been around since Endgame came out. And a number of Easter eggs throughout the MCU past have supported, contradicted, and even given clarification on this possibility. So as we wait for the Black Widow film to fact check that ledger, I will dig into this mystery of Natasha Romanoff's parentage in this episode of Inside Marvel. So the first thing we should point out is that Natasha's father being named Ivan doesn't necessarily mean the one other Ivan we know in the MCU is her daddy. Ivan's one of the most popular boy names in Russia. It's like saying, wait, my dad's name is John? That must mean my dad is John C. Sorry about that, but I had to show you how dumb this Ivan thing sounds to Russian people. Really, daughter of Ivan is most likely a reference to Natasha Romanov's origin in the Marvel comics. She was an orphan, originally born in Stalingrad, and an unnamed woman handed her off to a man named Ivan Petrovich Bezukov, who raised her as a foster father and a mentor before bringing her to the KGB Red Room. In a later comic, Ivan actually returned as a cyborg, trying to nuke the world, and he professed creepy, romantic love for his foster daughter, but then became angry when she kept dad zoning him. In the way that Red Skull chose Edith as a parent Hawkeye was closer to, maybe he chose Ivan as that early childhood parental figure for Natasha, minus the uh, weird cyborg part. Then again, it would be odd for Natasha to not know Ivan's name in that case. The MCU version of her must have been separated from her biological parents long before any memories could form. Or maybe the Red Room brainwashed away any early childhood memories, but Natasha's parentage has been alluded to a number of times before this moment in Endgame. For example, there was a deleted scene in Captain America's Civil War. After everything happened with S.H.I.E.L.D. During my little hiatus, I went back to Russia and tried to find my parents. Two little gravestones by a chain link fence. I pulled some weeds and left some flowers. You could say that one of those sad Russian gravestones would have Ivan written on it, but hey, it is Russia, the land of unmarked graves. Why mark grave? You stone the fight wolf instead. Also, it's worth noting that this was a deleted scene, and it is debatable if deleted scenes are considered canon, but Civil War was written and directed by the same team, r and and Eminem, that made Infinity War and Endgame, Endgame being the movie that gave us that Ivan line. Also, before this, in another MCU chapter made by R&R Eminem, Captain America the Winter Soldier, the computerized version of Arnim Zola greeted her this way. Romanov. Natalia Alianovna, born 1984. So essentially Red Skull and Zola with their weird greetings are tag teaming as the MCU Mori Povich to tell Black Widow who her daddy is. You are not the father. <laughs> Zola calls Natasha Romanov Natalia Alianovna, which according to Russian nomenclature conventions, the middle name Alianovna means daughter of Alian. Alian would be the father's last name. Then again, if her name did technically follow Russian tradition, it shouldn't be Romanov. It would be Romanova or Romanovna. So I don't know how much weight this carries to Natasha's parentage. Some have also pointed to the moment with Loki in the first Avengers. I got red in my ledger. I'd like to wipe it out. Can you? Can you wipe out that much red, Dracov's daughter? Sao Paulo. The hospital fire. Barton told me everything. 
folks who think that her dad's name is Drakov there must be mispunctuating Loki's dialogue. He's not saying, can you wipe out that much red, comma, Drakov's daughter, as if he's calling her the daughter of Drakov. He's saying, can you wipe out that much red, question mark. Then, separate question, Drakov's daughter, Sao Paulo, Drakov perhaps being some past target that she had to assassinate, and then ended up having to murder Drakov's young daughter too, to leave no witnesses, something that would haunt her. I'm interested to see if Drakov, Sao Paulo, and the hospital fire all come up in the Black Widow film, which appears to be revisiting another entry on Nat's ledger, Budapest. But what does this mean for Whiplash Ivan Vanko? Well, it does make sense for Natasha Romanov to have various parental names associated with her history, and for her to not really know the truth. The KGB could have doctored her record, she could have been orphaned at a young age, or brainwashed. The parental figures that raised her easily could not have been her biological parents, but her mind did seem blown on Vormir after hearing that name Ivan. That must not be a name she has associated with her father any time before. If we consider the Civil War gravestone story to be canon, Ivan must not have been on that gravestone. So what do we know about Ivan Vanko? Well, he was born in 1968, Natasha was born in 1984. That would require Vanko to be 16 years old at the time of Nat's birth. So it's possible if you're cool. Ivan Vanko's childhood wasn't a stable one. His father, Anton, was a physicist who helped Howard Stark design the arc reactor before being deported from the US after Howard reported him for espionage. So Anton was angry. He abused Ivan as a kid, but on his deathbed, he left Ivan with his engineering research so that Ivan could assemble the whiplash armor to seek revenge against his Stark family. Ivan Vanko does not at all seem like a nurturing father figure or foster father figure who could have been enough of a daddy to Natasha Romanov in the mid 80s to earn himself a name drop from Red Skull. But we also don't know what he was like before becoming Mickey Mickey Rourke. Like, have you seen Mickey Rourke as a teenager? That's a teen dad if you ask me. It is curious that both these Ruskies were introduced in the same MCU film, yet they never meet. Ships in the night. The closest they get is when Natasha and Happy break into the Hammer building to stop Vanko's control over the drones. Vanko, in the briefest of moments, eyes Natasha on the security camera feed as she takes down the Hammer security guards with the most interesting expression. What secrets could be hidden behind those eyes? A flash of familiarity, a memory of being a scared 16 year old whose abusive father forced him to give up his beloved infant daughter to the KGB for training. Or are we just seeing the rock contempt that Mickey Rourke normally only shows Jenna Maroney? These are for Mickey Rourke. No, Tracy, put them down. <laughs> Who do you think Natasha's Ivan is? Comment down below with your thoughts. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at EA Boss and subscribe to New Rockstars as we go deeper and deeper inside Marvel. Thank you for joining me and kids out there. Having a kid in your teenage years does not make you cool. Providing for the kid does.